Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. To my audience out there, how hard is it to receive a ticket for a minor infraction? Whether it may be a cell phone ticket or not wearing your seatbelt. How hard is it just to say, you know what? You caught me doing what I did. I'm going to receive the ticket and go on about my day. I'm not even going to talk no more. Let's get right into the damn video. What? I just pulled out for my crib. Can you have a seat of the car? No, what do y'all want? Y'all finna piss me off. I just, I just, how the f I sit on my block and y'all see me pull out of my house to get gas? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I just see you on Rosedale. I put, I stay on 202 North Rosedale. Okay, I don't know that. You just see me pull out of my drive? You was sitting right there. Why was you sitting on my block? And then you waited for me to pull out. Is it illegal for me to sit on your block? It's, it's illegal just, for you to be, just pull me. What was become, the reason? When did it become your block? But you didn't tell me what reason why you just pulled out my plate because it's a chip plate you and I just bought this car. I haven't been able to talk What's to you. What's the reason? What was the reason? You don't have your seatbelt on your drive. I did just have my seatbelt on. Okay. And I just took it out. Okay, gas no, in my you car. Can't go, you, I am going to put gas okay, in my car. Do you want my key? I'm going to put gas in my car. come back over here. Don't touch me. Okay, come back over here. Don't touch me. I can't deal with her. I can't deal with you either. What the f? God, have your deputy or whatever. Okay, your ratchet mom is not going to do a damn thing. She's not going to do a thing. You need to at least stay around. Let the deputy or the police officer tell you what's going on fully. And then state your case if you choose to do that. If not, you could e easily take the ticket fight it in court, and go home. It's that simple. I don't understand why some of these women out here always have to be so combative with police officers for minor infractions. And one more thing, you don't own your block. Okay? Get that through your head to all the people in the slums, the ghettos, wherever you're at. You don't own the block. Okay? You know, you, I, I don't have nothing for you. Okay. I'm trying to make this as... No, you not. Why are you even bothering me? I, I just have my seatbelt on. No, I have to go to work. Are they going to fire me? No, I'm not going to do this with you. you. Driving license, proof insurance, and we'll get you on your way. Y'all know what the f*** I'm doing. No, I'm not doing this with y'all. Can I please have your driving license? Stop talking, stop talking to me. 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 Please stop talking to me. I got to. I have to call my mom. Please stop talking to me. Okay. Because you know what you just did. I just seen you. I just recorded you. Okay. I just, I just want to make sure. Are you gonna refuse to provide me with your driver's license? I'm not saying sure? nothing else to you. Okay. If, if you I'm not that, saying nothing else. For, for not saying nothing. I don't. I don't. How's that obstruction? I know what obstruction is. That's yeah, not. I didn't say. I'm, I'm refusing. Yeah. I'm refusing to speak until I call my mom and my lawyer. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Mom, I just pulled out of the driveway. This man was just sitting on Rosedale. Now I'm at the gas station, and um, and he just pulled me up. He followed me to out the. He followed me out of the driveway and followed me to this gas station. Sitting in front of um, in front of Dick and Garden House. He was sitting right there and then he seen me drive off and then he- I want to stop it right there real quick, okay? To any of the parents out there that know the law or could act pretty civil in a situation like this, what would you tell your kid? If my kid got pulled over because they weren't wearing their seatbelt, I would tell my kid to chill out, stop being irate and take the damn ticket. We can pay a lawyer about three or four hundred dollars possibly to get the ticket dropped. Just take the damn ticket, pump your gas and leave. Stop getting irate with the police officers. All right. That's what I would tell my kid. I don't know what y'all would tell y'all kid, but that's what I would tell my child. OK. He followed me. Saying that I don't got no license plate. Then he going to look at my template because I didn't register the car yet because I just bought it. He talked it's good until this month. It's this month. Until the third. Exactly. Then I got my uh, He talking about I didn't have no seatbelt on. I had my seatbelt on. He just pulled me up for no reason. He don't see that I got my seatbelt on because I got the damn blanket over me. And I got to go to work. What the f- No, hell no. Hell no. Are you done? Are you done? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to be doing? 
Two weeks. 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 Two is giving the officer your driver's license. You could make this process much easier. Just give the officer your driver's license. He will check your, this is the thing people don't understand. Sometimes when cops pull you over and if you're not irate, they will literally let you go. Even if you weren't wearing your seatbelt, they will give you a warning. They will sometimes just give you a warning. If not, if they're not going to give you a warning, like I stated, hold the L, take the ticket and go on about your business. You can make life much easier. Giving this to him because he just pulled me up for no reason. He has no lawful reason to pull me over. He said, hey, I was, first of all, he said that I didn't have my seatbelt on, but if you check in here, it says I have my seatbelt on and I have a blanket over me because I don't have no clothes on. So he just pulled me up for no reason. I feel like he, hell no. I don't I feel uncomfortable. Actually, I she says she had a blanket on over her because she didn't have any clothes on. To my audience out there, I know she doesn't have the best looking clothes on. That's what some of you may think. But does she have enough clothes on to the point where she doesn't need a blanket? I'll wait. I'll wait. And to be honest with you, she's sitting up here talking about she doesn't want to talk to the police no more until she talks to her lawyer and her mother. Why are you still talking? You already gave them a lot of information. In the beginning, you say that you didn't register the car yet or you didn't have time to register the car yet. So he looked at your template. You're telling on yourself. You're telling on yourself. If you're not going to talk to the police, just shut the hell up. If you're not going to talk to the police and, you, and you're and you going to stick to that, either take the ticket or go to jail for the night. It's that simple. I want a female officer to to be here. If this is what we're going to do, I feel uncomfortable. You just sat on my block. I mean, I know you don't get you feel your title. I don't. Ask, I'm going to ask you one last time. If okay, you okay. To, okay, you're going to be placed under arrest. Last time. You're gonna you give me, are you going to give me your driver's license, move insurance, or are you going to be placed why under arrest? Being, last question. Right. You didn't you ask me a no, question. You're under arrest. You didn't ask me. I'll give it to you. Get off of me. I'll give it to you. Stop touching me. 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 So cannot come to arrest you right now. So I arrested but you. I asked you why. To search you. I just told you I I'm going to you. Why you stop stop you resisting. Ground. Stop moving. Stop. I'm trying to fix this so they don't still, cut you. I can't even fix your handcuffs because you won't stay still. I'm not even moving. Y'all both pulling me and put it away. What the f? Never been. No. I'm trying to fix this. All of this could have been avoided if she would have went in her purse or told the officers where her license was at and presented the goddamn license to the officers. To my audience out there, y'all can correct me anytime y'all want, but could this situation have been avoided? Could this situation have been avoided? People need to stop getting so goddamn irate all the time. Stop getting irate all the time, especially when it's a minor traffic infraction or a minor violation. So they don't hurt you, okay? You just yanked me, what the mm. I've never been dragged around like this. I just see how aggressive Well, you have you plenty, got plenty of chances for you not to have to and do I that. I just was telling you that I was talking to my mom, my lawyer, and you just got him Yeah, And I allowed you, you to do that, which I shouldn't me. have to do that, but, but I did. But you do nothing, I did not move an inch. After she hung up, her mom was on her way to meet her, which led to an unexpected but heartwarming ending. What did I not I have to know. do? I did not move! You relax your hand, please. You're gonna step here with this officer? Your vehicle's being Okay, okay just let me walk! No, just let me up. walk! Let me walk! I'm just, shadowed by the just, dog! Just please stand right here. Y'all are so bullshit! 
What's your last name? What's your last name? Ma'am, what's your last name? I never, I feel so and so. I just asked for a female officer to come. There is a female officer just, come to search you. But he just said, he, he just told me it wasn't. Search you, but not to arrest you on the traffic stop. But I just wanted a female to be around. He was already aggressive before you came. Hey, Ma'am, I'm just telling you, I got here last second, okay? I asked for a female officer. He was aggressive before before y'all even came. One of our sergeants is right there. Imagine, fellas, real talk. Imagine dealing with someone like her as your girlfriend. I want you to envision that. Imagine dealing with someone like her as your girlfriend. Imagine that. Supervisor, can I get your information, please? What's your last name? I feel uncomfortable. Okay. I'm having, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Okay, but I need your information, ma'am. What's your last name? Hi, ma'am. Hi. What happened? I was just pulling, he was just sitting on a road still, and he seen me pull out of my driveway. He seen me put my seatbelt on, and I put my blanket over me, and he just walked, he followed me from there. He just asked me to give him my driver's license. I said, yeah, please call my mom and a, my lawyer first. He got, when he came, that's when he got more aggressive and he put his hands in front of me. I said, what is the problem? He said, well, I'm pulling you over. And I asked, well, again, what is your reason? Then you want to say, because I have no seatbelt on. I have my seatbelt on, but I have a blanket right there as well. I'm on my way to work. I said, can I please call somebody? He, well, yeah, you call him. And then as soon as he came on, that's when you want to get over aggressive. Now, yes, I am yelling because I, I don't understand where this is coming from. You just watched me. I told him, I said, can I please come on my office before I do anything? I didn't resist. I did not say a yes or a no. Do you have a driver's license? To the smart parents out there, let's have a little quick uh, cl classes and session real quick, okay? When our kids get pulled over, let's make sure we tell our children to hand the to hand over their license to an officer when they get pulled over to make things much simpler. Don't argue with the officers. Don't do nothing. All you have to do, don't don't argue as far as doing that, but hand over your license, hand over your insurance and registration. Other than that, you don't have to say nothing else to the officers. That's it. Hand over your license, registration and insurance. You don't have to say nothing else. Just say, give me my ticket if, I, if, I'm, if you're gonna give me one or let me go home. That's it. Don't even argue with them. When I get pulled over, I literally give the I literally have my hand already out the window with my license and registration. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? No, but here you go. Roll back up my window, let them do whatever they have to do. Now, granted, for most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, they let me go because I'm a veteran. They just let me go. But I also don't put up a fight. I don't get irate with the officers. I let them do their job so they can finish doing whatever they're doing so I can go home. I just want to go home. So go ahead. If either you're going to write me a ticket or you're not. But other than that, I'm not arguing with you because it's just, it's just going to make the situation worse. It's not on me right now, but I, and I also he told me it's because my place is temporary. What does that have to do with anything? I you want me to fix your watch so it doesn't fall? You could just put it in there. Put it in the car? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put your watch in the cup holder. Oh. Or do you God want to center council? So hey. Put this, put this in there. Yes. She doesn't want it like it's falling off. He didn't ask me for it. He did ask you for your information. When you came, here. but he didn't ask like when you first came. Oh. <laughs> can, I, uh, can I get your information now? What's your last name? your last name. I need like, to get they you. take this as a joke. I feel so uncomfortable. I, I need, really to, I need uncomfortable. to get your name. I've asked you three times. We gotta have your information, otherwise you just sit there. Okay, long... I would just sit there there because I feel really uncomfortable. I just asked for a female. Yeah, the female's coming. A female's coming, but they're not close. That's part of the problem. Why did y'all just do that to me? Why did y'all just yank me around? I wasn't a resistant arrest. Why did y'all just yank me around like that? When an officer says you're but being placed I never under said arrest, no. you pull away. I did not pull away. Uh, uh, I need your information. I did not pull away. Why did you, you just do listen, that to me? I've you, never been assaulted by a police officer before. You need to provide your information. 
so you don't sit in booking. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't she big and bad when the video first started? Maybe y'all wasn't watching what I was watching, but in the beginning of the video, wasn't she this big old tough lady or young girl that was pretty much telling the officers not to touch her? She wasn't going to say nothing. Wasn't she this big bad wolf in the beginning of the video? Now, all of a sudden, she's crying when she could have just complied with at least giving the officers her license and this could have been over with in a heartbeat. <laughs> you can't make this crap up, man. I just bought it. I just bought it. And I have to sign my title and thing as well. I just got it yesterday. And the person that I bought the vehicle from, he had this already on there, but he gave me the title. I didn't even get the sign yet. I was gonna do all that when I went to work because I work at Toyota and I can register my car there. Yeah, we're gonna wait for. I'm gonna tell you, I, I have a warrant. I, I believe I have a warrant to pay as well. I miss one. I mean, I'm telling y'all now so y'all can go ahead and call over to them. No, yeah, that's fine. He's, that's what he's gonna do. You know, we're gonna wait for the female officer. Okay. What's the warrant for? Listen, court. I really hope your ass die. You just real life, like real life. You just was on my block. You just watched me pull out my driveway. I don't think we need to go to that. Extent. No, I really do hope he died, though. I really do. I really do. I really, I really, really pray that he dies. I pray that he dies. I really do. Not a strong. I really, I really hope he dies. I, I mean it. And I have your name, so I will be putting a root on you. With my, with my. And th and this is the thing right here. See, this is the problem. Either she has a stolen vehicle. I'm just throwing this out there. Possibly that vehicle can be stolen. And that's the reason why she was acting very irate as she was. But when you know, and like I said, this is a possibility. But if you know that it's the chance you're doing something illegal or you're driving a vehicle that's illegal, you need to hold the L. You getting irate isn't going to make the situation any better. It's going to make it 10 times worse. It's going to make it 10 times worse. And that's the problem with some of these people out here. Some of these young girls, they're driving their boyfriend's car. They know their boyfriends are gangbangers driving stolen cars. They're putting temp... Listen, I know about this type of stuff. They're putting temp tags on stolen vehicles. You need to be more careful. She thought it was all good until she got pulled over. She knew what time it was, and that's why she was acting irate. Yeah, I'm not gonna play with you. I hope your ass die. And I don't want to write the citation for you, but you don't have proof insurance, or you just don't have insurance. Like, do you have insurance? Is that on you? I don't have proof of it. I don't have it on me. You think you can get an email maybe or like a picture yeah, sent like to you? Email. I don't want to have to write a citation for you. You can write it and then when I go to court, yeah, I'll just show them that. So just make the process fast and hurry up and do your job. I'll just provide it then. Okay. I'm not going to wait I am also to sorry that we had some... I don't know like you're not fucking sorry. I don't need that church ass apology. Don't fucking say shit yeah, else to me. Just don't say shit else to me. Oh, stay over there, stay over there. Yeah, be quiet, be quiet. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Hey, huh? I'm telling you, they don't have to be disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful to them. I'm telling them I got a point to hold them over here. Okay. You don't have anything. I don't. Watch your head. 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 Watch your head while you're going in. Watch your head. Let's stop the damn video right there. Hooked and booked. Hooked and booked. If nothing is wrong with her car, something at, well, she did say she did have a warrant in another county, I believe. So that could be the reason why they're taking her away as well. And that's the thing. People be riding, they're riding around in illegal cars where they have warrants. 
They have guns on them. They have a brick of cocaine on them. The vehicle got 10 plates. Officers are going to pull you over. If they see you, with a, and then they do the craziest stuff. They not, they're not wearing a seatbelt. What do you think they're going to do if they see you? If you if you know you have a warrant or you know that you may have something illegal in your car, you need to buckle up and you don't need to be riding around with cars with tinted windows. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costed you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.